All right. This is the song that Destiny likes. Okay. So we can study from the lyrics. Many people have asked me, like, could you teach Korean based on the lyrics? And um, I couldn't really do it because, like I said, you know, it might cause a, a copyright issues. I didn't want it, but all right, let's just try this a little bit today. So, Destiny, do you see this lyrics that I put here? No word is needed. This one. All right, the first line, let's read. 찬 바람이 조금씩 불어오면은. So obviously, Korean English, they're opposite. To know this, you want to go uh, from the last. 불어오면은. So 불다 is below. That's the infinitive word, right? So the wind blow, right? And 오다 is like come, right? So 불어오다 is like come, it blows come. And 면 is if. 면 음면 is if, right? So now you can say, you can study this grammar if. 면 음면. 오다. Because there is no bottom matter, we want to use 면. So 오면, if something comes. So that something should be what? The wind, right? So 조금씩, 조금 is a word, a little, right? And 씩 is like a little more and a little more. So 조금씩, a little more, a little more. 조금씩. 불어오면은 what is 차다 is like chilly and cold and 바람 is wind right so 차다 바람 when we conjugate there's got to be n bottom letter or 은 with an adjective 찬 차다 so right if the cold wind Exactly. If the cold wind blows little by little, perfect. Then we can go on, move on to the next line. Pam is night. Hanel sky. So pam hanel night sky. You see this? A noun and a noun, just same order as English. Pam haneli. 반짝이다 is like twinkle, shining. So 반짝이다 is the infinitive word. 반짝이다, shine. And 더라, and 이더라. That's also the grammar. So that's gonna, that should be in Korean grammar for speaking too, book number two. 더라 is used. When you actually experience something and you tell people about your experience. So remember, 더라, 이더라. Obviously, 더라 is used without bottom letters and 이더라 is used with bottom letters. So, 밤하늘이 반짝이다, 반짝이다. Right? 반짝이 다. So take out 다. E has no bottom letter, right? Take out 다 and add what? 더라. So that's why it became 반짝이 더라. So meaning of that should be I saw some, I saw stars like in the bracket, right? I saw stars and that's the, my experience. That's my experience. And I want to tell this person, hey, I've seen it. And it was shining at the night sky, in the night sky. You got it? 
Twinkle in the Night Sky. That's right. And move on to the third line. 긴 하루, 하루를 보내고 depart. So 길다 is long. 하루 is like one day. So when we conjugate long day, an adjective and a noun like pretty woman, tall guy, big car, expensive bag, those kind of adjective and a noun. We need this bottom N or N describing nouns. Uh, that's in unit 30 or 40 something in Korean grammar for speaking book number one. So, uh, for 길다, that's the infinitive for the long, but 길, because it ended with L, it's an irregular. So, just get rid of this L and add N. 긴 하루. Now we described this haru with an adjective long. So long day. 보내다 is send, obviously. And go is something that we studied today, right? Which means end. So 긴 하루를 보내고, I spend a long day and 집에 들어가는 길. So 집 is home, right? To home, we say to house, to the house, right? And 길 is the road. And 들어가다 is go in. And now this time, we want to describe this 길, a noun with a verb 들어가다, which is go in. So 들어가다 길. To connect those two, we need 는 this time. Well, that one, hang on. Uh, describing nouns should be, where are you, where are you? Uh, describing nouns. Unit 48, it's used a lot. So, 들어가다, go in, 길, uh, the road. So, we need 는 to connect them. So, 들어가는 길. The on the way back home, that should be right. So after sending, I mean after spending, sending, spending a long day, and on the way back home, and next line, 내 생각이 문득 나더라. 내 is like the. It's used in speaking usually the, which in, which indicates you in impolite way so i guess they are friends or boyfriend or girlfriend i don't know but i can guess right and 내 생각이 생각이 thought 문득 문득 is a word that um you can say in english sometimes so 문득 나다 나다 is the infinitive word. So, 문득 나다. 나다, come out. So, something comes out. And 더라, remember, we just practiced 더라 is, is used. 더라 or 이더라 is used. Uh, once you experience something, then you tell somebody about it, right? So, 네 생각이 문득 나더라. I thought of you sometimes and like after i thinking i thought about it and yeah i realized that i think about you and now 어디야 지금 뭐해 this part is like a what is it actual speaking part right so 어디야 where are you 어디예요 should be where are you in a polite way, but 예요 and 이에요, when you want to use it in polite way, you can say uh, 야 instead of 예요 and 이야 for 이에요. So 야, 이야, two things you can make impolite. So 어디야, where are you? 
지금 뭐 해? What are you doing now? 지금 뭐 해? This present tense we studied in unit 11, right? 뭐 하다 해요? And you is removed to make it impolite. So 어디야? 지금 뭐 해? Where are you? What are you doing? And remember this present tense, yo or yo heyo, they, it can be used as like, what are you doing? Like present continuous that is happening right now if there is a word like 지금. So if you remember that, okay. And next one, 나랑. Oh, we studied this today, 랑 and 이랑, right? So 나 is this uh, impolite way to say like me. So, 랑 was with, right? So, 나랑, with me, 별, star. And 보다 is to see. And this law, that's the grammar part. So, 러으러, that one is in book number 55. That is to in English. So, in English, I came here to study. I came here to buy. I came here to sell something. So that too, it's not to with places, okay? So, law. So to see the star with me. 가다, to go, right? And 지 않다 is like, we studied that too, like uh, two days ago. Uh, 지 않다 was in number unit 13, right? So, something don't or not 가지 않다 you don't go or this 을레 and 지 않다 plus 을레 grammar got combined so this 을레 is also in this book oh my god uh, where is it 을레 that's unit 37 will you but this in speaking I would say it's used more like wanna in English. Like, hey, wanna go? Wanna drink today? Wanna get some coffee? Like that time. So, le le. So, gianta grammar and le grammar, they all got combined. So, kaji anle? Don't you wanna go? Should be like this. So, darang pyeolboro kaji anle? Don't you want to go to see the star with me? Should be like this. Okay. And the last sentence. 너희 집 앞으로 잠깐 나올래? Hmm. 올래 grammar. Again. Oh, sorry. 엘레 grammar. So, wanna. 나오다 is like come out. Wanna come out? And 잠깐 is one second. Like one moment. So this gun is like this clicking sound. Uh, what is that? The, the, the clock. So, 잠깐 나올래? Wanna come out for a little bit, for a bit? 앞으로 is like in front of, toward the front. Which means in front of your house. 너희 집, your house. That's it. And 가볍다, the last one is like a light, the heavy light, that light. So K is the, also the grammar that we have in this book. Oh, it's, it's in, uh, uh, what is it? Volume two, the second book. So K is used like LY in English, like simple, simply, heavy, heavily, like that. So 가볍다, light, and LY is used so lightly, 가볍게. So that's that. Uh, sorry, I didn't read any of your messages, Destiny. I'm sorry, but um, I was just uh, to explain. <laughs> yeah, yes, right? I'm reading it now. What do you think? Yeah, it makes all sense now, right? So that was the song by, uh, I don't know, but, um, the title was 별 보러 가자. <laughs> you love it? Nice. I love it too. So 별 보러 가자. 
So this something cha, the last one, kata part, something cha is like, let's do something, but in impolite way, only used with your friends. So kata, let's go. And it doesn't matter whether it has a bottom letter or no bottom letter. 먹다, 먹자, let's eat. 공부하다, 공부하자, let's study. So just take out 다 and add 자. So that makes everything, let's do something. And 러, 보러, 러, 으러, same explanation. That means to in English, not with places. Let's go to see a movie. Let's go to buy grocery. Let's go to um to to drink coffee that too like four in english so 보다 러 use 러 when there is no bottom letter and use 으러 if there is a bottom letter so 보러 to see let's go to see the star that's the title of the song yes 리어고 해요 no that's that's not in this lyrics Similar, yes, just like in English, like to buy something for meeting you or in order to uh, get something, right? I would say in order to is like So that one is on book number yes, 56. Try to was going to in order to. Is law or uh, is law you know, more for movement? Well, I wouldn't explain like movement, like feeling, like that way. I would say this just two in English. So I go to school. This is place, right? I go to school to study. What's the purpose? To study. What's the purpose? To learn. Right, right. So this lauro grammar is used really commonly with kada and oda, and not only this kada oda, but also uh, words that include kada, like nagada, go out, na oda, come out, and tagagada, like to approach, like those all like kada oda words included. Yes, tanida also. So I attend school to learn. 배우러 다녀요. Studying the lyrics is so fun. Oh yeah, really? <laughs> so my first time, first time trying, wanted to do it, but um, couldn't get a chance. Are oh, you do? Then we can, you know, practice a little bit like this after the class. Or if you have more songs, then we can practice. So, you know, that's the point. Like, um, you can study grammar point. You can study uh, words and verbs and adjectives. Those all kind of things that we actually need for speaking. But if you just read the lyrics and translate directly then you would study wrong you know so i would not recommend to study you know with that kind of stuff don't translate but just you have to know how it works so then you can make your own sentences you can create your own lyrics based on this grammar and practice.